So, Vi, I'm going to show you how to shape the dough. So what we do is we just got this out of the refrigerator, uh, or it just arrived um, if we're really hungry, and then we're going to shape it and let it sit. Ideally, that would be a whole hour, and then we're going to make the pizzas. I, there might be some cases in which we don't have an hour to rush it, but um, that's going to let the dough proof. It's going to let it rise a little bit. So I'm going to show you what I'll do, and I'll let you do that. Okay. So. First, just going to cut that, and it's sort of sticky on here, which is okay. Just going to invert that and pull the dough out of here. And this is sort of like, I don't know if there's a better way to do this. It's just a little bit of a sticky process. But once you get the dough ball out, you can sort of use that ball to pick up any leftover dough that's in there. And this is pretty good. And I'm going to show you what thing. With this dough, it's a high hydration dough, which means it has a lot of water in it, so it's sort of sticky. If I move slowly, it really sticks to my fingers, do you see? But if I move quickly, it doesn't stick at all. And that's because um, dough is viscoelastic, which is pretty cool. It means it uh, changes properties based on how fast you're moving. So when you're handling the dough, you're going to want to sort of move a little bit more quickly to make sure that your fingers don't get too stuck in it. So it looks like I'm moving sort of fast, that's why. Um, and when you watch bakers, they're like, but like sort of confident, but they move sort of quickly because their fingers won't stick to it as much. So what we're aiming to do right now is, I just put a little flour just so it was a little less sticky, but I'm, I'm taking the dough and I'm making a seam in the back. And then on this side, I'm making like a nice sheath of gluten. So you can see it's like, it's a little torn right there, but it's pretty smooth. And that's really what I'm aiming to do. A little bit more flour on my hands. And so I'm just creating a little tension on the top of that. And then that's going to be good enough. Um, and, I'm, and I've got like a nice little round ball, and that's going to go right there. You want to do that one? You just be sort of rough with it, pull fast. There you go. Perfect. And see, it felt like it wasn't going to come off, but there's not much left on it. You did a good job. If you really want to get a couple more pieces there. So now, so why don't you set it down and just pull it up so you start creating that seam a little bit. There you go. Yep. And you can get a little bit of flour on your hands or on the dough if you need to. What is the flour do? It just makes it less sticky on your hands. It provides a little release. Yep. And you just. There you go. So you want to be gentle on that sheet with your fingers and just sort of mostly like, yeah. Sort of like fast and gentle at the same time. It's looking really good. And you can even put a little bit of flour on there to make it a little less sticky on your fingers. It's looking really nice. Okay. So just sort of tuck in that little seam. You got it? Perfect. And then pop put it right here. And sometimes um, bakers will have other little tricks they'll do, like they'll they'll set a piece of dough down and they'll like use the surface to sort of roll it. And there's like there's ways that people make rolls and stuff where they they shape it like that on the surface. But this is looking really nice. It's nice and round. You have a good sheet. It's torn a little bit here, but that's okay. Mine is too. For this, it doesn't really matter. It's totally fine. Um, if we didn't want it to tear like that, we probably would let it warm up a little bit before we handled it like this because. When it's cold, it's more likely to tear, but this is totally fine for the pizza. And then we're going to do one more thing, which is we have like a clean cloth, and we're going to put some water on this, um, but we don't want it to be like soaking wet. So put some water on this, and then I'm going to wring it out so it's just damp. And we're going to lay that on top of the dough. Um, you know, we're just trying to keep it from drying out. So you could put you could put this plastic over it, and that would work fine. Um, you could put like um, you know any other cloth. You could put a paper towel over it. It's just trying to keep 
the moisture so you don't create like a, a crusty dry top. And we're gonna let this sit for an hour and come back and check it out. You did a nice job, bye.